Oh man, we're back. Let me hi to the vlog. Hi, hi vlog. I got a watch recently, and it made me think about time. I'm 30 now. So I'm 13 years. Ginger. It's pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. So what is it like to be 30? Life is all about change and I change as well. Things are a bit slower now. <laughs> so the biggest words I'd say at 30 are stability, calm, picky, peace. It's peaceful. That's for me. So I've had hobbies all my life. I've been around people all my life. I was very social. I used to listen to music all the time. Shower, car, music in the car is no longer a thing. Because I like to think, reflect, calm down. I wrote some points that I'd like to touch on. At 30, your passion for things grow a lot. My passion for sports really uh, grew. Pull out your revolver. <laughs> I forgot we're in public. It's so calm. I don't know how to say it. I just feel so calm. I've been preparing for 30 since I was a kid. I honestly never thought I'd reach 30. I don't know why. It's just an internal head thing. I had health anxiety when I was younger. And, and it's so exciting because I heard this somewhere. 30s is like the 20s, but in God mode. And that's very true. So today we're going four people fishing. We hope to catch a lot of fish. Because I have 10 years of experience on my CV with being cool and fun. <laughs> and now I can apply it in a much more effective way. Hey. And we got these fans. Because oh, yeah. we got fans on YouTube, you know? 30 is like, bam, bro. You're like there. You're a unit, you know, at 30. I just felt different when I turned 30. Although it happened like this, <laughs> like all of us it does. But when the three zero heck is in your face, it's like, bro. You got your big camera, Yeah. Oh, wow. Bro. It just feels so cool. People my age, our parents, we almost run the world, you know, people between 30s and 50s, I'd say. And had the 20s, but 30 to 50 is such a powerful time, bro. Like physically and mentally. And I'm very excited. Speaking of power, bro, I've been so into sports much more. So I picked up sports that I can maintain with one or two, three people, because I don't like to socialize as much. <laughs> A lot of racket sports, we went to ping pong, paddle, tennis. So yeah, there's a lot of passion at 30 and around 30, I feel like above 25. I started really appreciating history more, the universe, science. I just want to share with you what my 30 years on earth looks like, where I was and where I am. I love life. I love to live. I love to do. We're going right now to the same place we went last week. It's on the highway. We're going to try to park on the side of it. You can have a sports car but no passion and you see it as an object but if you have passion and a sports car you will really see why it's a sports car what has been done to it to become a sports car how the engine is engineered the story the history is everything around us there's so much to it everything is there for a reason and if we just ask ourselves why how it's a never-ending story there's content all around us the rock took millions of years to become a rock each rock it might have a hidden creature inside of it a skeleton of it. and there's just so much to explore and i feel like at 30 i am glad in my 20s I didn't I didn't really travel much. I was never calm enough to do that to experience yani, museums outside and nature and hikes and so I'm happy that I still have a lot to do in my 30s because I haven't done them in my 20s. I feel like a lot of people are scared of being 30 because you're getting closer to getting old. But dude, remember when you were a kid? Would you go back to being a kid? I wouldn't because I'm aware now and I enjoy the process of what's happening right now. Alright guys, so we just made it. <laughs> <laughs> this is buoy number three and four. And we are gonna be fishing here. That's the highway. Remember the highway I was telling you guys about? This is between the red and the green. So when you're 50 and 60 and 70, yes, you would say, no, I had beautiful days before. I wish I could go back. But you're ahead. You have lived through that. So I would say as a 30 year old, don't worry about the future. Enjoy your time. Let them know when you enjoy it and live and do what you want to do, you're going to absorb it. You're going to have enough in a way. You're going to want to grow more. You're going to want to go to other things. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, Look how yeah. useless Sada and Badr are. Yeah. Guys, thank you for being helpful. You might not. You might be the type that likes to stay and do one thing. And then that's not wrong. And it's okay. Guys, Sada just caught a crab. He was on the shell. Came from SpongeBob land. <laughs> don't worry about having it or not having it. Don't worry if you want somebody and they don't want you or you want something and you can't have it. Everything will happen at the right time. And what's for you will be for you regardless. So if something is slipping from you, let it go. Don't even think about running after it. I know that is harmful for you. What is for you will come to you, but not like magic. You have to connect. At 30, 
your mental health, your dome is the most important thing. Invest in yourself, love yourself, and be there for yourself. Even if you feel like you're lying to yourself, tell yourself that you're amazing. Tell yourself that you're gonna do it. Tell yourself that you can. Even if you don't end up doing it, keep saying it. I know that will only lead you to better stuff. Guaranteed. There's no way you can go to, to worse places when you're being positive. If you program a car's computer to only give fuel 2,000, مثلاً, it'll only give 2,000, but it's open to 10. So always believe in yourself. You deserve it. Be content. Don't fight. Don't be scared. Don't compete. Help. Usually that ship over there, captains are boarding. They attach it like that and the captains board. Thank you. Help each other. Cheers, Liz. Thank you. One. Cheers, you. <laughs> to another 30. So, Liz, what are you feeling at 29? <laughs> Bro, like life is so exciting. There's so much to do. Hala and I can just go out, walk, look at ants, study how they move, put a piece of bread for them, see how they study it, how they call each other, make a f***ing documentary out of it, and then post it. Like there's so much to do. And I know you, you have things in you that you want to do. But I think at the end of the day, it is just a number. It's not like, as soon as you hit 30, it's not like a switch goes off. Yeah. As long as you're keeping yourself healthy, keeping your mind healthy, your emotions in chat, Life, you know, live. Life is to be lived. And I have a saying that I always used to say when I was younger. Life is limited. Don't limit it. And that sentence might be a bit pressuring, but I don't mean it like that. I just mean... You get older, you get wiser, and you become a bit more mature in your decisions. And actually, that's the best way to have fun. Like, a bit more sure of yourself. Honestly, that bit is the best part. Be limitless, you know, in a proper way, not in a dumb way. Hamir. <laughs> be content, be a leader. Don't keep following. Okay, consume, do this music, this and that, but have your own opinion and stick to it. I know that will only take you closer to your success and to your type of people. Now, what are you feeling at 26? About 26, yeah. You're 25? Screw you! Oh! <laughs> bear. Bear, it was bear. Sometimes losing is winning. I'm, I'm, I like aging. So don't always try to take the, the gold color. Silver is good sometimes. But as long as you're healthy, <laughs> physically, yeah. mentally, that's it. Yeah, my Go on adventures, man. Go live, bro. Go live. Go do what you want to do. Don't worry. Risk. Risk. Calculated risks. Not stupid risks. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. So, do you want to bro? Smile. Be silly. Be serious. Accept. And reject. Say yes. And say no. Just. Let's be. There's the yellow specifically. In the middle of the heat. Yellow, really special, guys. Ooh, look at that. Dude, I'm so like, sad that I couldn't Please careful. swim with my watch. I think it's a rubber. Yeah. Alan <laughs> right. doesn't get these jokes, bro. I get these jokes, but you're a potato. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, but first, I need to remember this moment, bro. At 30, I still didn't wear this watch. It's been, I got it yesterday and I didn't wear it because tomorrow I'm going fishing. I love this every week and Saturday I go fishing with my friends. And we're gonna catch that bottle. Like, yeah. Not at all, bro. Yeah, look at that, bro. It's not a crazy brand, but because of the passion that you start to have at 30, you start to learn more about watches and things that you like. Mine is watches. It's a diver's. It goes down to like a thousand meters. So it's just pretty dope. It came out in 1970. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. Yeah. Give me five. That's the fish hand. I'm not gonna bore you with all these things. I'm a geek, I'm a watch geek. Let's put it on for the first time. Let's we'll start a new journey. It has a turtle on the back. Look at that turtle. It's a new age, my friends. It is time to dive.